Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. I know some people are in Southern California and others uh, are from Boston uh, logging in today. And uh, our host, uh, retired Navy SEAL Captain John Doolittle, is getting in position right now and we'll allow him to uh, take over. Go ahead, John. All right, Stephen, can you hear me okay? Yes. All right, great. Hey, uh, hello everybody. Uh, still in the uh, kind of lockdown status here in St. Pete. Over a million and a half people around the globe have this disease. I know a lot of uh, a lot of us are dealing with the same kind of drama, being you know stuck. Especially if you got kids, we got two or uh, three <laughs> three teenagers, and uh, it can be a challenge, man. I get it. Um, so I know if you've been with us the last couple of days, we've been uh, we've been getting after it pretty hard. Today's focus is primarily uh, mobility, uh, flexibility. So all you need today, as far as equipment, is uh, a broomstick, a PVC pipe, in honor of my dad, who I know is on right now, a golf club. Anything uh, that you can find like that, we'll use that. If you got a, if you're on hard uh, floors, uh, go ahead to a carpeted area. Uh, if you have a yoga mat, go ahead and get a yoga mat, and uh, and we'll just do some mobility stuff. If you got tennis shoes on, go ahead, take them off. Let's go barefoot, man. Let's get uh, let's get nice and chill, nice and relaxed. And there will be some exercise today but the focus is mobility. So let's get started. Go ahead and take your, we're gonna start with the armbands. We always start with the arms, okay? Not always, but I'd say 90% of the time we start with the arms. We, uh, we like to go small, small muscles first and work our way up to the bigger muscles. So what I like to do is have it pre-staged, have the band ready to go, already through the, uh, the clip there. And then it's as easy as just sliding it right on all the way up to the armpit. Make sure you got the, your clothing or your shirt or whatever under the band, not wrinkled up and give it a nice snug pull and lock it down. And again, you should be able to fit a finger under that band. I can get my thumb under that band, but barely, it's tight. Okay, that's one arm. Get the other, slide it up all the way to the armpit. Same thing, nice and easy. The more you do this, the easier, more natural, faster it gets. If you have a cycle 2.0, go ahead, take the cycle, push and hold the power button in the middle. You'll hear a beep and you'll see the word cycle on the front of the screen. And go ahead. Look up here, no click here. These are just little friction connections. And I'm gonna go on group medium. My arms are already warmed up from earlier. We walked the dogs this morning, Buck and Cody, they're uh, two infamous uh, canines. And uh, Katie wore leg bands, I wore arm bands. We were in cycle the whole, the whole walk. Um, but needless to say, my arms are definitely, definitely warmed up. So I'm going to start a group medium. And the first thing we're going to do is just get everything moving. And we're going to get a little bit of lactate going in our arms, okay? So no yoga, no mobility quite yet. We're just going to do some exercise. So we did this yesterday. Took three exercises and combined them all together, right? It's a great way to start. This is the, the, the fist clench the bicep curl, and the hand extension and tricep extension. So think of this as a flexion move all the way to an extension move. And when you're doing this, everything stays uh, tight, focused, engaged. Try not to let your arms just like drop down or just fling right up. No momentum, nice controlled movements, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and start with 30 of these. So on my, on my count here, so tight and a curl, 
and then full extension. There's one. So we give about every two seconds, right? So there's two seconds down, two seconds up. This gets us about, it takes about a minute to do 15 reps. We're gonna go for 30. So we'll be doing this for another minute and a half. Katie's gonna help me out because I can't count while I talk. The dogs are right at my feet, ready to chase the ball. There's 11. Really focus on everything being tight and engaged. And you should start to feel it pretty quick. All right. I see a bunch of Hollywood squares on there. We've got a lot of people joining us. I'd like to give a special welcome to my dad. He's a golf player. He's a golf. Uh, he's a golfer. And today is his birthday. Happy birthday, Dad. Glad you're joining us. And I see him getting after it. Okay. All right, four more. All right. Nine. Yeah, Gary, all right. Let's do 20 seconds of rest. Okay. So. When you're doing those, especially on that extension move, movement, all along the outside of your hand here, these muscles that you rarely use, really focus on that, that extension, okay? Okay, five seconds. All right, let's do 20. And here we go. Boom. Boom. All right, there's three. You know, we're, we're gonna add a little bit of fun into this one, and we know when we get to 10. All right, one more. Okay, in three, we're gonna go really, really fast. Two, and one, 10 of these as fast as you can. Ready, go, boom, boom, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Ooh, yeah. All right, 20 seconds. All right, how are we all doing? You guys can hear me. Give me thumbs ups. Give me some thumb up. Thumbs, 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 thumbs. All right, great. Everybody can hear. Perfect. All right, five seconds. All right, we're going to do five slow and five fast. Ready? Begin. All the way up. Full oh, extension. All the way up. Everything's tight. And the extension. Curls for the girls. Yeah. Go. There's three. If you're a girl, you can do curls for the guys, but it doesn't rhyme. Okay, here we go. Five fast. Ready? Go. Boom. Two, three, four, and five. Woo. All right. Is anybody not warmed up? <laughs> go ahead and get a drink of water. Try not to spill it. Okay, so we're going to go to the ground. Um, Go ahead, and if you have a pad, get get comfortable. Get get some place where you're where you're not gonna hit hit countertops or desks or whatever. I'm gonna turn the computer down. Good idea. So you can see us, Stephen. Can you see both yeah. of our bands? I can see Katie in the background. And I'll see you in a second. Here you are. You're in. We see. Okay. All right. Great. All right. So, whew. all right. Go ahead and sit down. Now, my, uh, my cycle just ended. It gave the double beat. I'm going to keep it at this pressure. That's pretty good pressure for me right now. And there comes the next cycle. Just breathe. All the way in. All the way out. And now breathe in and roll these shoulders back and forward. Back and forward. Try to get your shoulders nice and high and then really focus on squeezing the shoulder blades together 
on your way back, all right? Nice. And don't worry about trying to match exercises with the cycles, pressure on and pressure off. Because sometimes you might not notice that it's released pressure if you're in a flexed movement. So just go ahead and keep working right through it. No problems. Okay, let's do two more back. Scap flex. Get those scapulas. Squeeze them together. All right. Okay, now let's go the other direction. Shoulder, shoulder rotations the other direction. Yeah, if you don't want to sit on the ground, you could be sitting in a chair. Definitely, good idea. If this is too hard, being on the ground with your legs straight, you can give them a little bit of a bend. Now on these rolls, as we come down, go ahead and reach forward. You don't have to grab your toes. Just make that reach part of the movement. And what you find is each time you can go a little bit further. Nice, nice and slow. Breath is so important. Try doing a little bit of box breathing. In for four. Hold for four. Out for four. Hold for four. And breathe again. Box breathing is a proven way to get your body into what's known as the parasympathetic state. A lot of people get stuck, keep doing the movements. I, a lot of people get stuck in what's known as the sympathetic state or the fight or flight mode, kind of like my dogs are right now. They're in the sympathetic state, barking at a cat. Hi, hi Buck, you're Cody. crazy. All right. Cody. Okay, now try to keep the breathing the same. And we're gonna take our arms and make sure you're not gonna smack anything. And thumbs up and take our arms and squeeze all the way back as far as you can. And then up towards your toes or your ankles or your knees if you only make it that far. Thumbs up, squeeze your shoulder blades. And up to our toes. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Now everybody's on different time frames with their cycles. If you're on a nano, your cycle uh, will finish a little sooner than if you have a cycle 2.0. The cycle 2.0s are 30 seconds on, five seconds off. The nanos are 20 seconds on, five seconds off. Nice. All right, let's do two more of these. All right. Let's go ahead and go face down. All right. Get on your knees. Let's just start with some gradual rocking back and forth. All right, so we're on all fours. Put your hands up forward here and just let your hips drop. And then come on all the way back to your heels, but all the way back to your heels. And then forward, let your hips drop. And all the way back. Now let's try to match these movements with the box breathing, okay? So let's go in for four. Hold it for four, and breathe out for four. Hold it for four, out. Look up a little bit, and back. Katie and I both beat, so we're gonna start again there. 
All right. All right. Now we're gonna do a little, little more emphasis on our upper body, on our shoulders. So go ahead and go into a, like a modified push-up position. Not like this, unless you really want to, just stay on your knees because we're just gonna get some shoulder movement. So lean right and lean left. Control your breathing, whatever's most comfortable for you. Okay, nice. Now, let's make it a little harder. Scoot some shoulder taps here. Put your hands a little bit closer together and just reach up, tap one shoulder. And then lean to the other side, tap the shoulder. Lean, tap, lean, tap. All right, we do our 10 of these. Okay, let's do six more. Five, four, three, two, and one. And back to your heels. And then forward into a lizard stretch. Look up. And then come on down. Inch your hands just a little bit further back. Come back up, look up. Come on down. Inch your fingers back a little further. Come up. Katie is way more flexible than me. <laughs> Come down. Let's do two more of those. Nice. Back to your heels. All right. Go ahead and come to your knees. So we've been doing some cycles. And I haven't talked in this session about your capillary refill. But remember, during your cycles, I just started again. In between sets, in between whatever you're doing, whenever you have a little bit of time to rest, just check your cap refill and make sure it's not stained white longer than three seconds, okay? All right, so let's go back down. Let's get a little bit of shoulder work going, okay? Let's just go from your knees. Let's just do some slow controlled push-ups. If these are too hard for you, you can go to a chair like Katie will show you. If going to a chair or the couch is too hard, uh, you can go lean against the wall. Again, the idea is to not push heavy weight. The idea is to engage all your muscle fibers with light intensity work. So even though I'm doing push-ups through my knees and I think I'm on number, Six? I'm already shaking. So I know this is not supposed to be a hard work day. So when you start shaking or you feel like you're getting ready to start to fail, just go ahead and go back into some kind of stretch. Just I like, what do they call this, babe? Child's pose? <laughs> I'm not a big yoga guy, obviously. All right. All right, one more. Go ahead and go to your knees and you can just, your knees and your elbows and just reach, reach through as far as you can. And if that's really easy for you, go ahead and come to your hands. And reach through as far as you can. Getting a little spinal mobility going there. Feel my AirPods about to fall out. That's cool. I got a new headset coming tomorrow. All right, let's do a couple more of these. Okay. 
And while we're doing these, I want you to think of whatever your sport or your favorite uh, activity is. And when we come up from this, we're just going to do some what they call neuromuscular pathway work. Okay, go ahead and come up to your feet. And just for the sake of discussion, I'm going to pretend that I am, and my dad will get a real good kick out of this. I'm going to pretend that I'm a golfer. I'm not going to hit you, bro. <laughs> All right. So in the cycle mode, let's say I'm a golfer. You got me there, right? I want you to think, and if you're a tennis player, it's a tennis, it's a serve. It's, it's a, if you're a pitcher, it's a throwing move. But the idea is when the limbs are engorged like this, slow, purposeful, perfect movement. And I know my dad's laughing because this is probably nowhere near a perfect golf swing, but that's the idea. Just go ahead and do some of this. Whatever, whatever your move is, you know, if you're a swimmer, you got to get a little creative in your living room. But just think slow, controlled, perfect movement. Now remember, all your capillaries distal of these bands are engorged with blood right now. Your brain interprets that differently than when the capillaries, like they are 99.9% .9 of the time, are not engaged. So your autonomic nervous system is firing in a different and unique way. And if you, uh, you ever heard of, uh, what's it called? Neuroplasticity in your brain. This is a great way to turn on motor neurons in your limbs and things in your brain. Okay. I guess John, that done. Yeah, John, go ahead, Steven. We have yeah. uh, actually a former professional golfer online. Uh, okay. Cody Rogers, she's waving to the crowd. So if anybody wanted to see a perfect katsu golf stroke, uh, she can do so. Oh, what, I'm looking. What's her name? Perfect Kaori Rogers. She's waving right now. Kaori Rogers, pro golf player in Japan, right? No, LGB, L, uh, GPA all over the world. Oh, nice. She's retired now. Awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so go ahead, Cardi. That just show us a few, uh, a few drives. Yeah, show show us what it's supposed to look like. Unlike what I was doing. Oh, there she goes. I see her. Quarter speed. Nice. Perfect. That looks just like my swing. <laughs> exact. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Thank you very much. Love it. Okay, go ahead and turn. Turn off the cycle or just tap the power button. Don't turn it off. Just shut it down for temporarily and undo from the, uh, from the device. And we're going to take the armbands off and shift down to lower body. Steven, if you uh, got anything you want to say, I've probably got about a minute of transition here. No, you're doing fine, John. Thank you. Okay. So go ahead, you, you guys hear me say this all the time, but because there might be one person on that wasn't on last time. When you put these things away, take care of your equipment, it'll take care of you. Hold them up nicely and set them off somewhere where they're not gonna get ruined by your golden retriever. <laughs> and then take the leg bands. And I like to do this while I'm standing up. If you got a phone in your back pocket or wallet or keys, go ahead and take whatever's in your pockets out. And all the way up on the inside of the thigh and even higher on the outside. Okay. And then just make it snug. We'll tighten it down once we sit down. Do that on both sides. Just a couple minutes transition here. The shirt I'm wearing is another memorial to Mike Troy. 
my uh, number two male role model and mentor behind my dad growing up. Passed away last year. Double gold medalist, 1960 Olympics. Former Navy SEAL, SEAL instructor, swim coach, and swim instructor, teacher in Arizona. Okay, tightening the leg bands. I always like to just take, take a minute or two on this. The biggest issue we ever see with Katsu is guys not having enough base pressure on these big muscles down in the lower extremities. So when you sit down, relax your quads, hammies, your glutes, and you really can cinch these things down, okay? You're not gonna occlude blood flow. We're just slowing down the venous return, but the arterial flow is always moving. And so we want these elastic pneumatic bladders. Keyword is elastic, right? They're designed to give. We want these things nice and snug, okay? And go ahead, take your tubes, hook up. Oh, see this look here? They're, they're all the way up on the inside, but they're even higher on the outside. So you get kind of a modified V going there. And go ahead and hook up. All right. Plug into your machine, your Cycle 2.0 of which there will be someday, a cycle 3.0. Okay, I like to start my legs on pro, medium, but you don't have to start that high. You can start on group low, and you can start on all the way up to pro high if you want. The key is these are cycles, so that you're getting that total rap, rapid complete release every 30 seconds. So even if you feel like it might be too tight because you're getting that consistent release, it's not dangerous. It's go more by your comfort than whether or not you think it's dangerous. Okay, we're gonna start with some happy rainbows. That's Corey's name. If you guys haven't seen Dr. Corey's videos, um, by all means, we sent them out earlier. Uh, I probably should send them out again. Um, they're fabulous, just fabulous videos. Okay, go ahead and sit down. All right, I'm looking, there's some glare, but I think, Stephen, you can see us, right? Yes, no problem. Okay, so we're gonna do some happy rainbow. What's a happy rainbow? <laughs> you just come, come down to your back, Head, head relaxed, and we're gonna take one. Sorry about that, guys. We're gonna take one knee and just let it fall over to one side. If you're really flexible, you might be able to get that knee all the way to the ground. But if you're like me and you're not that flexible, this is okay. All right, that's part of the rainbow. But the main part of the rainbow is taking, if you have your right leg over, take your right arm and thumb up, come all the way around. There's the rainbow. And try to keep your thumb up all the way around. That doesn't work, does it? Okay, keep your thumb up over here. <laughs> all the way up. And back down, all the way up, and back down. If you want to go all the way around, I don't think it's possible to keep your thumb up all the way around, but you could go all the way around. All right. Buck wants Katie to throw the tennis ball. <laughs> there we go. All the way around. Just do one more. Nice. Okay. Knees to the middle. All right. And go ahead and just let your knees just kind of rock back and forth. Let's just do a couple of these. All right. That's pretty easy for you. 
go ahead and lift your lift your heels and do the same. So a guy like me, whose C spine and L spine is all jacked up. This creates just little micro movements in between the vertebrae and it is gold. Just getting these little movements makes all the difference. Okay, let's go ahead and take our left knee or whatever your opposite knee is from last time and bring it over. Go ahead and pull it down close to the ground. All right, and then same thing, thumbs up. Give me that rainbow all the way up. All the way down. All the way up, hot book. I love you too. All the way down. I love dogs. All right. And if you want to go full circle, you can do that. If you didn't know, Sean rescued a stray cat last week. It was ready to die. So now, we have two dogs and a cat. And the dogs are huge and the cat's tiny. And the dogs are afraid of the cat. Okay, there we go, nice. Keep that knee, keep pulling that knee. Try to keep the straight leg, the, the one that, try to keep it as straight as possible. And pull this knee down close to the ground. Ooh, yeah. All right. Back to the middle. The same thing. Let's let our let our knees just kind of rock back and forth. If you felt like you were working a lot by lifting your feet off the ground, just let them stay on the ground. We don't want to work too hard here. We just want some good mobility. Okay. And come on up to a seated position. Okay, Whew. and um, if you have a golf club or a broomstick or a piece of PVC pipe, whatever you got, you give Katie the broomstick, and I'll take the golf club. Okay, so we're gonna do some rotating pec stretch. So go ahead and lay down taking your your broomstick or whatever you got and let's go ahead and lean lean over again like we were i'm using my right leg over keeping my left leg straight and then take this stick or whatever you have and with your thumb up focus on your pack on that right pack Really stretch it out there and back. And your katsu is just rolling in cycles this whole time. Peck stretch, thumbs up. And I'm pushing, and not just in one angle, but I'm pushing in all angles. If you guys have ever had rotator cuff surgery, I've had three of them. This is one of their favorite mobility exercises. Your thumbs up and you're pressing through the, all the ranges and angles, all the ranges of motion. You hit a lot of your rotator cuffs by doing that. All right. <laughs> I want to sit my head down, but then my AirPods fall out. If you lose me, you'll get me back pretty quick. All right, let's do two more of these. You should really feel it in that pack. Oh yeah. Especially if you were doing burpees yesterday. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's switch to the other side. Before we switch, just let your knees. Just give, a, give me a couple of these, two or three each direction. Keeping everything moving. Nice. Okay. All right. Now left knee over, right leg straight. And here we go for a little left pec stretch. So thumbs up. Ah. 
and I'm using my right hand to really push that shoulder to end range motion throughout the whole range of motion. It's funny, if uh, I wouldn't know the first thing about human anatomy or physiology, but I've had 13 ortho procedures <laughs> and you learn a lot from the PTs. Thank God for the physical therapist. That's all I gotta say. All right. Oh, if your cycle finished like mine did, go ahead and start her again. All right, let's keep going on these. Thumb up, really make sure you focus on that leg being straight, the bottom leg, and the crossover leg being bent about 90. If you need to stop every once in a while and reach down and give it an extra little pull, that's okay. Oh yeah, let's get two more of these. End range of motion on your shoulder. Feels good on the capsule. So even though we're just doing light stretching in the iron cot seal, it's not super easy. That's okay. That's what we want. All right. Sit back up. All right, what do we got left here? Oh, yeah. These are some of Corey's favorites. Hammy huggers. All right. So we're going to lay, lay down, both feet flat on the ground. And... Go ahead and make sure your cycle 2.0 is kind of out of the way. And take one leg, I'm using my right, and cradle the knee, I'm oh, sorry, cradle behind the knee, and straighten your leg, and then let it back down. And then cradle behind again, straighten, and when you straighten, you're pulling back, and then back down. And so the idea here is we're not doing any static stretching, but we are moving through a wide variety of ranges of motion here, right? All right, let's do two more of those. Now take that same leg and rest it on top of your left knee. I got my right foot on top of my, my left knee. And now, not pulling on your ankle, but pulling on your knee, go ahead and pull that leg. Pure form of stretch all the way back. And if that's not enough, go ahead and straighten this bottom leg and pull it back. Letting your hips open up. That's a little much for me. I want to bend my knee. Pull it back. Nice. Give me one more of those. All right. Let's go into hammy huggers on the other side. Straight up, pull back, and bicycle out of it. Pull back, maybe even keep pulling your knee towards your face further, 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 and then cycle all the way back to straight. Pull back, cycle further, 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 and all the way back. If that's not enough, try it with this leg straight. <laughs> As I, as I cramp up, pull, 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 cycle it back through. Pull, 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 cycle it back through. Okay, let's give me two more days. Ah, nice. All right, that ankle, left ankle on top of your right knee and cradle your knee and pull it into your chest, opening up your hip. Ah, and if you want to kind of move it around, that's good. If you want even more stretch, straighten that bottom leg. Ooh, yeah. And those leg bands are cycling right now, so you can feel everything distal the band, just all filled up. I like to say it's a physical stretching of your capillaries. Ah, very nice. Okay. And back. Let your knees fall to each side. Let's 
go three on each side. It's two, two, three, three. And now just take one knee and pull it all the way to your chest. And hold that for a couple. Don't forget your breathing. I'm going to the other one. Pull that knee all the way to your chest. You can straighten that leg even better. All right. Come on up, seated. Air pods falling out. And that's it, guys. Let's do just a couple more lizards to finish it out. Just give me, start with your fingers at the top of your shoulders and up and look up. And then go ahead and look over your left shoulder and look over your right shoulder and down. Now move your fingers about two inches back. Same thing, up. Left shoulder, right shoulder, and down. Two inches further. You should really feel this. Left shoulder, right shoulder. Okay, and we're gonna finish it up with 50 burpees as fast as you can. Just kidding. Guys, spinal rotation, functional mobility, a little bit of that magic yoga. How are we doing, Steven? You got any uh, chat room questions? Uh, no, oh, everybody's, uh, everybody's following along and doing well, thank you. All right, so I guess my, the takeaway for me, when I first started doing some mobility with Katsu, I realized it's not just stretching, it's still working out, it's just working out in a much different way. Um, we did not untether today. If you're big into yoga or very dynamic yoga movements, by all means, when you either have the arm bands on or when you have the leg bands on, go ahead and untether so all this stuff's not in your way. Um, full functional range of motion when you're untethered, no problems. I think I just saw a question pop in, or are we good? No, uh, uh, why thumb up? On the, uh, uh, I are, forgot what move it was. Yeah, my understanding when the thumbs up, you're engaging that pec. That pec minor, pec major is a very common part of when you're dealing with shoulder injuries and rotator cuff injuries. A lot of impingement comes from this movement. There's a lot of things we do, uh, especially in the military with all these pushing exercises where the thumb is down that causes impingement, this is just kind of a way to open it up and help help reverse it. Um, if that's uncomfortable for you, by all means, just play with it. Judy always has good questions. Yes. And I'll run some of that by Dr. Corey too. I might be a little bit off on there, but I think I've heard him say that a couple of times. All right, guys. All right. Hey, thanks for joining us, Dad. Thanks for coming. See you Monday. All right. All right, take, take care. care. Bye.